All right, gang. We're going to talk about bait. Bait for hoop netting is super important. If you don't put bait in your hoop net, there's going to be nothing that's going to draw the lobsters into the net. Now, there's people that'll tell you you got to use chicken, you got to use cat food, you got to use salmon heads. Let me tell you something. A very, very good friend of mine is in the lobster business for a living. He's a commercial lobster fisherman. He studied the lobsters. The big long antennas on them are there to pick up the electrical force that's coming off the bait right when it starts to break down, when it starts to die. Everything has an electrical field around it. So what we've learned and what we found is the fresher the bait, the better. So as soon as that bait starts to break down, those lobsters can feel it in the water with those big long antennas and they start marching right to your bait. Now, commercial lobster fishermen, 90% of them are using a very small jar, about that big, to put their bait in. Because all you're trying to do is lure them into the net. You're not trying to feed them. So, with that being said, and while watching all the commercial guys, salmon heads, let me tell you, they're a big hassle to use. They're a big hassle to get. And the sea lions absolutely love them. And the whole key is when you're hooping is to keep the sea lions away so that you can actually fish for lobsters. So what I've come up with is this beautiful design of this black PVC pipe. Like we talked about before, sea lions are very visual. So once they see the bait tube or once they see the bait in the cage, they won't leave it alone until they figure out how to get it. They will crush the bait cage. They will actually absolutely spend their time blowing bubbles into the bait cage to try to get the food out of there but look at these tubes they don't see it they smell it but they don't know where it's coming from and see the small holes that's all i use and that's just to simply attract them i built these myself end cap two inch pvc pipe 18 inches long this unscrews i fill this up you won't believe this anchovies or sardines whatever they have at the bait barge when i go to take you hooping or we go hooping on my boat i pull up to the bait barge i have them fill up a half gallon or a five gallon bucket halfway three quarters of the way with anchovies or sardines and i throw a towel on top of them so they're not flicking and getting scales and scum everywhere as soon as they quit wiggling we chop them up and we fill this tube up from the bottom to the top shove full of anchovies or sardines whichever they have at the barge or mackerel Sardines, anchovies, or mackerel. Whatever they have at the barge, that's what I'm gonna use every single time. I buy a half a scoop at the barge and I fill up my tubes. I have two sets of these. I have 20 of these on my boat, are with me every time. What I do is I screw the top on, full of bait. I simply take these carabiners, I screwed the holes in here, so it makes it super cinchy. I go right over to my hoop net. I lay this inside, flip it to one side of the hoop net with the carabiner slide over to the other side, making sure that it's inside the net, not on the outside. Clip it in there, now it's dead center in the, oh, <laughs> it's dead center in the middle of the net, okay? I almost screwed up, but see how it sets in there? Ever since I started using these black tubes, guys, I haven't missed. I haven't caught limits every time, but I haven't missed. This black, I believe, is the key. When the black tube hits the water, it's invisible. I've never have a problem with sea lions. They never come around my stuff, ever, never. And I fish Catalina a lot. And I fish in the shallow waters, 20 feet, 30 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet on that 65 foot Hatteras. And we never have a sea lion problem ever since we started using the black tube. It's gonna change what you catch. It's absolutely gonna change what you catch. If you do these simple things, the way that I showed you, you rig up your hoop nets that way. I promise you, you're gonna have much success out there hoop netting. What we're gonna do throughout the season is we're gonna start giving you spots. Not right away. I want you guys to go out there and start to figure it out. But I'm gonna start to give you spots as the season progresses. On the personal forums page, we will be touching on where I believe you should go hoop netting this this weekend or next weekend or whenever those lobsters start to crawl i'll start to pinpoint where i believe you should fish in long beach harbor when the rain starts once it starts raining you better put on your foul weather gear and get ready to go hooping because you're going to catch lobsters of a lifetime up in long beach and la harbor all right gang